welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome so in this video I am doing kind of like a soft fall tutorial and I'm introducing to you guys the new Bobbi Brown Lux matte lip colors I partnered with them on this video and I'm super excited to be doing this these lip colors oh, let me tell you they're so pigmented I mean you can tell right here and very moisturizing on the lips. That's kind of like an issue I have with lipsticks. It's why I don't really wear them as much as I would like uh, because they're very drying on the lips and it's really uncomfortable to wear them for a few hours. Uh, but you can tell even on video how moisturizing this lip color is and they're all like that. So be sure to check that out at Sephora or Sephora.com. I'm telling you, you guys won't regret it. Here are some swatches just to kind of give you guys an idea of how pigmented these colors are, how friendly they are for all skin tones. It's one of my favorite things. I'm all about inclusivity. So if a brand can offer that, then they definitely have sold me. Um, so yeah, this video was pretty, I feel like simple. The more statement making part of this look, I would think is the lips. Um, but we're just gonna jump right into this video and let's get started guys. Okay, so first I'm gonna start off with just moisturizing my face. The fall is coming, which means my dry skin is about to be ridiculous. So I am just gonna be using the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Again, to just moisturize my skin underneath the makeup. Feels so good and it smells really good. It has like a citrusy kind of smell. Next, I'm going to be priming my face and I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Primer Plus Mattifier. This primer, it controls oil and shine, it blurs, pores, and it refreshes the skin. So basically, everything that I need in a bottle. Oh, it feels almost like velvet. Very, very smooth and soft. So for my lid, I'm just going to be priming it with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the color Vanilla. So for my eyes, I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Nude on Nude Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to be taking this color right here and adding it into my crease. Next, I'm going to add this color right here, and I'm going to be adding it to the outer part of my lid. Next, I'm going to be adding this color right here and I'm going to apply that to the center of my lid so it could blend a little bit more smoothly with the darker brown that I have on the outer corner of my lid. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to be applying this color right here on the inner corner of my lid to now blend in with that color that I have on the center of my lid. Now I'm just making sure that all the colors are blending together smoothly. You never want to see where a color starts and it ends. You want to make sure that it blends together smoothly and almost looks like it's just one color kind of transitioning to like a deeper shade of it. Um, that's how you know when you've blended well, when you don't notice any harsh lines. Next for my liner, I'm going to go in with a brown eyeliner just to kind of keep it a little bit more on the neutral side where it's not too um, intense of an eye look. I am going to be using the Reina Rebelde eye paint in the color Frida. So this is an eye paint, but it's also a brow color and eyeliner. So you can do a whole bunch with it. And it's a ch like a chocolate brown. So that's what I'm going to use and play it as my eyeliner. Next, I'm gonna move on to my foundation. You guys already know my lashes is like the last thing that I do. So I will go back into that once we're completely done 
with the face. For my foundation, I'm gonna be using the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation in the color Natural Tan. Now for my concealer, I'm gonna be using the same one that I used to prime my eyelid, which again is the Too Faced Born This Way Vanilla Concealer. Then I'm just gonna blend it out, and then after I'm done blending it out, I'm gonna set um, right over it with a powder. Next, I am just adding my baking powder right over those spots to set that in. Alright, so I'm gonna let this sit for like five minutes just to kind of make sure that it like sits there really well. And then after that, then we'll continue on with the face. Promise we're almost done. <laughs> All right, now it's time to dust it all off. Now I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the Wonder Beauty powder in the color tan. I'm gonna start bronzing it and I'm gonna be using the MAC Next to Nothing pressed powder in the color Dark Deep. For my blush, I'm going to be using the MAC and Patrick Star Spring Collection Blush Duo and I'm going to be using, this is the I'm Not Blushing Duo. Just a little dirty, but for my highlighter, I'm going to be using the KKW Beauty Highlighter Palette 1. So I'm going to be taking this color right here, it's the more gold tone highlighter in the palette and that's what I'm going to use to highlight my face. Alright, so I'm basically all done with my face and now I'm going to go back into my eyes so I'm going to be adding my mascara and I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and then I'll be adding my falsies which are the Mykonos Lashes by Lily Lashes. Alright, so now I'm going to add my falsies. Next, I'm gonna add this color right here just for my inner corner highlight. You guys know how much I love my inner corner highlight. Now that I'm done with my eyes, I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows and I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Ash Brown. Lately, I've been kind of doing a little bit more of a natural brow, so I'm just gonna kind of, um, Add a little bit of tint to kind of give my natural brow more color, but I'm not going to really change much of the shape that's already there. Now I'm just using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel just to make sure that my eyebrow hairs stay in place the entire day. For my lips, I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown New Luxe Matte Lip Color. And the color I'm going to be using is called Red Carpet. The formula of this lipstick is basically complemented by light waxes. So it really melts onto your lips and very out there, super pigmented, but it doesn't feel so heavy on the lips. For the final step, I'm just going to add the MAC 
Fix Plus spray on my skin so I could feel a little bit more hydrated and then we are all done.